What's going on, Eagles fans? Back here with a new damn video. Um, I make this real sweet. You guys can see I'm in a garage. Yes, and I'm using my iPhone because you guys already know. I live in my grandparents right now. It can't be loud. You know the deal. But I want to get this out the way. I want to talk about Saturday's game coming up. I will be in the building. I will be at the game. Um, it's pretty funny because Bradford's going to play. And I was there for Sanchez's first game as a starter, so I was there for the Sanchez era. Oh, you guys already know what that did. And I will be there be there for the Bradford era. Um, I just hope it's a good game. I hope we play a great game. And, you know, after watching the first preseason game, I was going to make a, um, <clears throat> you know, recap video. But, you know, I thought to myself, because once I saw that game, I was going to go to it. But once I found out Bradford wasn't playing, I'm like, ah, I'm not going to go because I want to see what this guy's got. You know what I mean? And it's preseason, so it's cheaper. And I was like, you know, I'm going to go to a regular season game, but I don't feel like waiting. So I ended up sitting out the Colts game. I said, F that. I'm going to the one against the Ravens. So that whole week leading up, I was like, you know what? I'll just hit hit YouTube. What the hell? With a vlog, you know, going to Ravens game and stuff and all that. So but let's get down to it. After seeing the Colts game, man, I'll tell you what. The team looks pretty good. I know it's preseason. I know it's only week one. I'm not trying to get hyped up. You guys remember the Lions from 08. Fucking look good and shit. They went 0-16. So I ain't trying to hype up a one preseason game. But the team looks solid. We got depth. Uh, maybe not a quarterback. <laughs> but at other positions. You know, Kenyon Barner, he's a damn beast. And now I see the hype when we traded for him. NFL um, on Twitter was like, you got him, this guy, and that guy. Oh, my God. Uh, you know, just hyping up how we got him. You know, I didn't even think he was that that good. He's a pretty damn good running back. He won't be starting, but he will make the team. You can mark that down. Um, hmm. I don't know, man. Uh, the team, as I said before, the team looks really good. But this team right now revolves around Bradford, in my opinion. If he goes down or he doesn't play good, this team will not succeed. I'm telling you that right now. Sanchez, I know he had two overthrows. I understand it's his first time back playing football, but then you got Matt Barkley who comes right in, and he, I, besides that one pick, which was his fault, but he will learn from it because you know he should have. He was trying to get rid of it. He wasn't even trying to throw. He was trying to get rid of it because he had a guy in his face. The guy ended up tipping it. It was picked off. Besides that pick, the dude was dropping dimes. He was throwing accurate passes. One that was beautiful, Jordan Matthews. I thought it was going to get picked. It went boom right in there. One where he did a play action, tucked it in fast as hell, threw a deep ball right to Miles Austin. He looked really good. For, for Matt Barkley, he looked really good. Um, but I'm not trying to get to that game. I'm just explaining to you that this team will revolve around Bradford. If he goes down, we could be really, you know, fucked. So um, protect him on Saturday. All right, protect him any way you can. Offensive line again in the Colts game looked really good. Andrew Gardner has stepped up. He looked really good. They put the other guy in, Moth. I can't remember his damn name. Uh, they put him in. Uh, I think, you know, uh, he played for, I think, what was the Broncos or Seattle. We got him. He's a guard. And they put him in for, I think, uh, from the second quarter all the way through. He fucking sucks. I know it's only his first game back, but, man, he, he just he wasn't good. I went back and watched. The, the, there's vines. You can go on your Twitter and see the vines of every play he took, and he was getting beat. Bam, bam, bam. So, I don't know, you know, with, with the whole guard position. But uh, Andrew Gardner looked pretty good, and the offensive line itself looked pretty good. Um, Marcus Smith stepped up, you know what I'm saying? But let's get away from that. This ain't this ain't a recap of the Colts game. Let's get down to what we need to do for the Ravens game. It's only a preseason game. What we gotta do though is stop Flacco. He's not gonna play. He's not gonna play a lot. So throw it out the window. Um, what I want to see from this game. Let's put it that way. All right. F what we need to do because it's a preseason game. There's no game plan really um, for a fan. What we need to see is if Bradford can take a hit. See what he does because I heard he's doing amazing practice. That's practice. Let's see when, what he does when bodies are flying at him. If pressure's coming at him, does he keep his eyes downfield and thread the needle? Or does he sit down? I mean, does, you know, does he sit there and look down at his knee because he's scared he's going to get hit in it and try to, you know, shrivel up? What's he do? What's he do under pressure? You know what I'm saying? He hasn't took a snap in a game in almost a year and a half, almost two years. So I don't expect him to play amazing. You know, I don't expect him to throw 100 yards. I don't expect him to do all this this wild shit. I expect him to throw a pick or two, really. But we know, as Eagles fans, the talent is there. The talent was never not there. It's, it's the guy if he can stay healthy. 
because uh, this is probably the most talented team he's ever been on. Maybe not in college. Maybe, you know, we can debate this team and his college team with the Sooners, but, you know, whatever. He has a lot of talent around him. Just got to keep him upright. All right, so what I'm looking for in this game is him to see how he plays when bodies are flying at him. I don't care if he throws picks or whatever, whatever. The guy hasn't played in, in a long time. I'm looking for that. I'm looking to see if Barkley plays well again. I'm also looking to see if Sanchez steps it up because, man, that performance was bad. Uh, those wide open receivers, I always tell people that's how Chip Kelly's system is run. People run wide open only if you have a quarterback to hit them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care if it's Alex Smith. If you got him, you have a chance to win at winning maybe a Super Bowl because the offense does that. It keeps people wide open. But what I'm looking for now is Brad, it was Bradford, I told you, Sanchez, him, and I'm looking at the secondary. The secondary, okay, it looked decent last week. The backups looked really good. Ed Reynolds and, and Eric Rowe, I think, is going to start in the slot or whatever the hell he's going to do. But he looked really good. Um, secondary needs to step up, though. They need to show what's up this game, and the pass rush needs to get there. We have one of the best defensive lines. We held guys back in the running game really, really well. Benny Logan, underrated talent, great, 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 um, you know, great dude on, on, on the line. Um, but I want to see what they do. I wonder if Kiko's playing. I don't see him playing, but you can see up the middle in the game or up the, you know, like once they got, once the running back got in there, we couldn't stop him because we had backup linebackers in there. So imagine with the starters in there. But what we got to do is a secondary. Step it up a little bit, all right? And I just want to see what you guys can do. Um, I think, will Maxwell go against Steve Smith or will he go against, I was going to say Torrey Smith. He ain't on the team no more. Wow. I don't know who Maxwell's going against. He said he goes against the best play, best receiver on every team. So I don't know who that is. Uh, I guess Steve Smith or I don't I don't know. But we'll see what happens. Um, he said, but he said he'll line up anywhere, wherever the best receiver plays. All right. But um, that's all I got to say. And I will be here with my pod uh, vlog. You can call it vlog, blog, whatever the hell they call the damn things of the game. And uh, on my way there and all this and that. And I just hope it's a good game. And I hope to see great things out of it. Man, Bradford, just stay healthy. Do not take many hits. Get rid of the ball quickly. And Chip, make sure he doesn't, all right? But I want to see him at least play a quarter. I don't, I don't care about this, oh, he's effing up shit. Play him at least a quarter. Because the guy needs to get used to the game. Because then the dress rehearsal comes around. And mainly the dress rehearsal. The dress rehearsal. Sorry, it's late at night. I'm got dry mouth. But uh, the dress rehearsal games, which is like the third preseason game, starters usually play uh, two to three quarters. So we got to get them ready for that. And we got to see what's going on. But let's get, it, let's get it going. How about them birds, baby? Let's see what we do against these Ravens. And Bradford era is here. I don't know if it's good or bad, but we will see. All right, y'all. Peace. Oh.